The key to a proportion problem is that proportions are equal fractions. So we want to take the information in the problem and make equal fractions. I'm going to set up just a little bit of structure. So I'm going to have a fraction bar that equals another fraction bar, showing that I want to make two equal fractions. As I read through the problem, the fractions are numbers that are somehow linked. So Frank earned $323 for working 38 hours. I'm going to put those two pieces of information in the same fraction because they're linked. This is the money for this time. At this rate, how much will he earn if he works only 25 hours? So this asks me a question. First part is how much will he earn? That's money. I'm going to put that on the top because money was on the top in my other fraction. And then on the bottom, I'll put 25 hours because that is the time that is linked to the earning. Now, you'll notice these are very different than dimensional analysis. In proportions, the matching labels are at the same spot. So money is on the top of both, hours is on the bottom of both, and in the middle is an equal sign. These are equal fractions. Now, in order to solve these fractions, we're going to multiply on the diagonals. So this is the cross product property. I'm going to multiply this way and I'm going to multiply this way. So on my calculator, I take the $323 times 25 and I have for that answer 8,075. On my other diagonal, I have 38x. This is an equation, so in order to solve, I'll divide on both sides by 38. And that'll give my answer, so I divide on my calculator. And I have x is $212.50. So going back, this is the money that he makes if he works 25 hours.